It's pretty clear that plastic is part of the blue economy. Everything uses plastic, and in oceanography, we use plastic for expensive things like sensors. And those sensors control things like maritime shipping, they help us predict the weather, and they help us understand the ocean. An ocean instrument that may have a useful life collecting data for a couple of weeks is left behind to become expendable ocean waste for maybe hundreds of years after that. Traditional plastics are made from petrochemical supplies. You know, making them is very energy intensive and uses a lot of non-renewable energy sources and materials. Once plastics are made, they are typically very slow to degrade in aquatic environments. Even plastics that are touted as being biodegradable degrade very slowly in the ocean. So when those so-called biodegradable plastics make it to the ocean, they can last as long as petroleum-based plastics. The ocean instruments that we're throwing over the side and not recovering, I, like many others, sort of rationalized it as just being such a small amount of the total plastic waste that goes over the side. But I think as scientists who are actively trying to take care of the ocean, it was very, very hard to, to reconcile continuing to do this without exploring other options. Myriad's goal for this project is to create plastics that are specifically designed to degrade in the ocean. This is our first commercial product that was produced. It's a soap dish that was made from the injection molding grade that we've sent to Melissa and Anne. My name is Allison Pija. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Mega Materials. They've figured out a way to harness methane from wastewater treatment plants, feed that to bacteria, and turn it into usable products. We feed methane to a bunch of bacteria that grow in big tanks, and that they accumulate PHA inside their cells, and then we have to open them up and pull the polymer out of their cells. And then we're left with a powder that can be turned into pellets that really can just replace conventional plastics in a whole variety of applications. Because we're starting with PHB, which is a compound that bacteria in the ocean naturally make, we know it can be broken down completely. And then what we want to do is to explore how can we accelerate the degradation to the point that we can have something begin to biodegrade over the course of months, as opposed to years, decades, centuries. I've been really surprised at how quickly we can isolate microbes that can break down PHB from the ocean. Within two weeks, we had isolated new bacteria that were able to break down PHB. And once we have kind of an idea for how best to culture them, then we move on to 3D print our bacteria into specific shapes so it can conform to the shape of the final plastic object that we want to degrade. We want these bacteria to be tough if we have the hope of someday embedding them in new materials. I think in a perfect world, we would like this prototype to turn into many different prototypes for all different oceanographic sensors, and then from there to develop into other products that are used throughout the marine environment. What excites me most about this project is the people I'm working with. Everybody brings their own sort of particular skill and their own perspective. In oceanography to in microbiology to 3D printing. I'm really excited to work with such a diverse group of people. I think we have the potential to be a really transformational team.